Chapter 271, Ending the Battle Quickly. Who cares about that? Just watch the excitement. The three great sects will not yield to anyone. This is a good opportunity to see the strength of the Heavenly Saber Pavilion in the Night Spirit Palace. The person leading the Night Spirit Palace's group seems to be the daughter of the Second Palace Master, Mu Yangzu. She is already a medial grade martial saint. Who is the person from the Heavenly Saber Pavilion? Do any of you know? I don't recognize him. He should have only left the sect recently. He is probably here to attend the auction. The sounds of discussion amongst the crowd grew louder and louder, it was very lively. Everyone was excited. Mu Yangzu pointed her sword at Xiao Chen and a melodious voice said, Would this friend be willing to stay here for a period? I really do not wish to fight. Xiao Chen smiled, but he did not withdraw his aura. He mocked, Why should I stay here? To wait for death. If you want me to stay, show me what you can do. Mu Yangzu blushed slightly, she did not expect Xiao Chen to be so discourteous. She shouted coldly, in that case, let's see what ability you have. Fu Si. Right after Mu Yangzu spoke, the four people all sent out a strand sword Qi. They tore through the air and flew at Xiao Chen. Xiao Chen looked at the sword Qi flying at him, and he shook his head. Although each sword Qi had a lot of momentum, they were not sharp. When compared to the two old men on the merchant ship, they were significantly weaker. Xiao Chen used his palm as a saber and brandished it around, his feet remained where they were. Xiao Chen exhibited the dragon and tiger body sculpting art to its peak. When the sword Qi struck his palm, it gave off clear metallic sounds. Each sword Qi was neutralized directly by Xiao Chen's physical body. The four of them were startled, they did not expect Xiao Chen's physical body to be so strong. They quickly gave up on using sword chi attacks and released sword lights from their swords as they leapt toward Xiao Chen. Xiao Chen knew that these four people were not intending to kill him, they only wanted to delay him until the Xi clan's experts arrived. I can't continue to hide my strength. I have to quickly finish this battle. Otherwise, when the Xi clan experts arrive, I will be in trouble. While it would be easy for me to leave, it would be difficult for Lu Sufeng to do so. Xiao Chen waved his hand, and the lunar shadow saber appeared in his left hand from nowhere. Xiao Chen's right hand paused on the saber hilt and a sharp light flashed in his eyes. The state of thunder merged into the saber, and within a short period of time, his state of thunder and aura raised to their peaks. In that very instant, Dark clouds churned in the sky above Liusheng Pavilion. Thunder rumbled as the might of thunder formed instantly. Rushing thunder saber technique, drawing the saber. Xiao Chen shouted, and fully displayed the state of thunder. A loud crash of thunder crackled in the sky, and in the next instant, everyone seemed to have seen a bolt of lightning jump out from the saber scabbard. Bang! The three people in front felt dazzled. A horrifying energy flew over as they immediately threw themselves backward. There was electricity running amok in their meridians, stopping them from executing any sword techniques. Xiao Chen quickly turned around and swung his saber. Then, he placed his saber on the neck on the person behind him. This person did not have any time to react, the bright saber light on his sword paused above Xiao Chen's head. He did not dare move any further. Xiao Chen quickly withdrew his saber as he smiled. Then, he stepped forward and smashed his palm into the chest of this person, knocking him flying with a loud bang. With no one blocking his way, Xiao Chen pushed his feet off the ground and turned into a purple flash of light as he headed for the hole in the fourth floor. All this happened in the time it took a spark to fly. From the time Xiao Chen summoned the Lunar Shadow Saber to when he made his move, it was only within the blink of an eye. The situation immediately changed. Xiao Chen's speed was very fast, no one was able to react in time. Someone downstairs exclaimed, what happened? Are the Night Spirit Palace's people really that weak? 
Niu Yangzu did her best to suppress the explosive lightning attributed essence in her body. When she heard these words, her expression turned to rage. She shouted and moved quickly. It was unknown what movement technique she used. In a short period, her speed increased explosively, blocking Xiao Chen's way. Niu Yangzu looked at Xiao Chen and said coldly, Your speed is very fast, but no one is faster than me. A sword light flashed as it pierced towards Xiao Chen. He quickly dodged and then spun before pushing himself off a wall. When he turned back, he hacked his saber at Niu Yangzu. Dang! The saber clashed against a sword, giving off a metallic ring, reverberating through the hall. The moment their weapons met, they separated. They were extremely swift, people could only see after images in the air. Two bright figures moved through the air, one purple and one black, exchanging blows continuously. Both their movement techniques were exquisite. They flew around the top of the third floor, using the walls to give them purchase. They did not land on the ground at all, as if they were really flying. The two of them endlessly exchanged blows, their speed very similar, they actually arrived at a draw. However, a draw was not the result Xiao Chen wanted. The longer he dragged this out, the more disadvantages it was to him. Ever since his Azure Dragon Cloud Soaring art reached small perfection, Xiao Chen had not met anyone who could compare to him in terms of speed within the same generation. Niu Yangzu should be using a peak earth rank movement technique. Furthermore, she likely practiced it to great perfection. Otherwise, it would be impossible for her to move this fast. Hu Kai. Xiao Chen raised his speed to its peak and turned into a purple flood dragon, roaring fiercely in the air. However, he was still unable to shake off Mu Yangzu. The black figure was like his shadow, no matter what he did, he could not shake her off. Strange, why is it so similar to the Battle Sage origin sticky character formula? Xiao Chen wondered to himself. Xiao Chen had experienced such a situation at the hands of Leng Liasu in the past. If you were fast, she would be faster than you. When you slowed, her speed would decrease slowly. It was not because you suddenly decreased your speed but because you managed to shake her off. I have to think of something. Since I cannot defeat her with speed, I will have to look for another angle. Xiao Chen shouted when he found an opportunity. He did a somersault in the air and stomped on the roof of the third floor. A large hole immediately appeared in the wooden ceiling. Xiao Chen sent out some energy with his hand, and he nimbly escaped through the hole, appearing on the fourth floor of Liusheng Pavilion. A fierce fire burned in Xiao Chen's right eye, and a huge ball of purple flames blasted out from the bottom of the hole below him. Niu Yangzu, who followed tightly, was startled when she saw that surging purple fireball. She quickly dodged to the side. Bang! Bang! The flames did not lose any of their might as they easily burned through the floor of the second floor, heading to the first. The customers on the first floor were all frightened away. Xiao Chen had temporarily escaped Mu Yangzu. With a quick glance, he found Lu Sufeng. Just as he was about to say something, he discovered Chu Chaoyun, standing by Lu Sufeng with a smile. Chu Chaoyun smiled and pushed Lu Sufeng with his palm, let me send you off. A huge gentle force struck Lu Sufeng, and he flew out the window. Xiao Chen did not have enough time to think, he could only follow after Lu Sufeng. As they left, he shot a suspicious glance at Chu Chaoyun, he did not know why did Chu Chaoyun help him. The two of them landed on the street. Lu Sufeng asked, what should we do now? Should we return? Xiao Chen felt a headache growing, as well. At the moment, he had no ideas, he was not sure where he should go. If he was alone, he would be fine. He could simply change his identity and hide for a few days. After Xiao Chen thought for a while, he said, does the Heavenly Saber Pavilion not have any influence in Zaihe City? 
As one of the three great sects, Xiao Chen did not believe they would fear a noble clan. The two of them were simply on a different scale of power. If they were to fight, in terms of combat prowess, even ten Shi clans would not be enough to defeat the Heavenly Saber Pavilion. With the Heavenly Saber Pavilion's raw power, they would be able to defeat the Shi clan easily. Lu Sufeng smiled bitterly, we really do not have any influence in Zaihe City. The royal court has very strict control over the three province capitals. It is very difficult for the three great sects to infiltrate it into them. Within the province capital, aside from the strongest power, the city lord, the three noble clans have the greatest power. Hence, we are not currently in a very good position. Xiao Chen noticed that Shi Feng, who had collapsed on the street, had already got up and disappeared to somewhere unknown. Actually, with their statuses as Heavenly Saber Pavilion Core Disciples, the Shi clan would not dare do anything to them. Even so, they would not be able to avoid apologizing and suffering some loss. Xiao Chen said, never mind, let's leave the city before deciding what to do next. The auction will start in three days, we will come back for it then. Lu Sufeng nodded, that was all they could do now. Temporarily, there were no better solutions. Dong. 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 Just as the two of them prepared to leave, the sound of horses rushing urgently came from the big street. A group of Shi clan cultivation sped over aggressively. Xiao Chen stopped and frowned slightly. He was thinking that the Shi clan was extraordinarily fast. No wonder Shi Feng dared to be so savage in Zaihe City. An old man wearing tight cultivator robes leading the group dismounted the horse. He had a gloomy expression as he looked at them. He slowly came forward and displayed a strong physical body as he walked forward. There was a sharp look in his eyes. Just based on his aura, one could tell his cultivation was not low. The old men said to the two of them, which of you two injured my clan's young master? Neither of them said a word. A young cultivator from the Shi clan pointed at Xiao Chen and said, Fourth Elder, it is the fellow on the right. Many people in Liusheng Pavilion saw it. Furthermore, he made the first move. A bright light appeared in the eyes of the Shi clan's fourth elder. He pointed his sharp treasured saber at Xiao Chen and said in a deep voice, Can the people of the Heavenly Saber Pavilion bully the people of my Shi clan? To think you dare to be so savage in Zaihe City. I will allow you explain yourself in one sentence. If you can't, I will take the place of your masters to discipline you. Lu Sufeng quickly said, Senior, we did not have the intention of injuring the Shi clan young master. He tried to humiliate us first. We were only. Xiao Chen raised his arm and stopped Lu Sufeng from speaking further. His gaze was as calm as still water. He stared at the old man without fear and said, there is no need to explain. His skill is not up to par, there is not much to say. The Shi clan's people were clearly being unreasonable. If they were truly reasonable, they would make matters clear by asking the people around. There was no need to speak so much nonsense. As for the so-called explanation, Xiao Chen felt that it was a joke. They were clearly not at fault. In the end, they even made it look like they were the victims, asking Xiao Chen and Lu Sufeng for an explanation. If the two were unable to give an appropriate explanation, then they would take action. This was simply the logic of robbers, not in the least humane at all, there was no sense of reason. However, Xiao Chen already learned to not hold any hopes for being able to use reason to settle problems in this world. Human lives were like ants in his world, he whose fist is larger is right. At this moment, the Shi clan had the larger fist, hence, they were in the right. The experienced cultivators surrounding them stood there silently without saying anything. No one spoke up for Xiao Chen and Lu Sufeng. This was a classic example of this world. Xiao Chen had an incredibly calm expression as he enunciated every word clearly, I injured Shi Feng. If you want to attack then just go ahead. 
As long as you are not afraid of inviting a disaster onto your Shi clan, by all means come and fight. It was easy to live in this world. However, not many people would be able to live with dignity. Xiao Chen was always of the opinion that the brilliance of a cultivator does not have to be revealed. However, they must have spirit. Regardless of the circumstances, this spirit cannot disappear. This was the principle of not being arrogant but having pride. If Xiao Chen lowered himself to explain and apologize, given the position of the Heavenly Saber Pavilion, the Xi clan would not dare to do anything to the two of them. However, if that happened, a precedent would be set and it will happen a second time. Eventually, they would lose their spirit as cultivators. Once a cultivator's brilliance lost its spirit, no matter how high his talent used to be, he would never climb to the peak of cultivation. At this moment, Xiao Chen did not cover up any of his brilliance. His aura was very bright and blazing, revealing a killing intent. His entire being was like a treasured saber being unsheathed. This, treasured saber, was extremely sharp. It pierced through the barrier of air and shaved away at their spirits. Suddenly, boundless clouds started churning in the sky. There were rumbles coming from the sky, the might of thunder had been formed. What's going on? Why did the sky become so dark? Suddenly, the surrounding cultivators discovered that the dark clouds above had already blocked out the sun. The sky instantly became gloomy. This is the state of thunder. I did not expect this fellow had comprehended the state of thunder to such a deep level at such a young age. He is already able to make use of the might of thunder. This is the mark of a state in small perfection. I had once seen this from an inferior grade martial king. Without a certain level of comprehension abilities, one would never be able to comprehend this. However, even with his small perfection state of thunder, he is still not a match for the Shi clan's fourth elder. This old man already reached the peak of martial saint many years ago. Although he is not a martial king, it is rare for anyone in the martial saint realm to be his match. When the Shi clan's fourth elder saw Xiao Chen with his surging aura, he felt that this was a matter that he could no longer withdraw from. As for dealing with the younger generations of the various powers, the older generation had a tacit understanding with each other. As long as no one ended up dying, they would not make a move. The Shi clan did not originally plan to make a move. However, they heard that Shi Feng was cast out onto the streets from Liusheng Pavilion from the Heavenly Saber Pavilion. As one of the three noble clans, the Shi clan head felt ashamed. If this news spread out, it would badly damage the reputation of the Shi clan in Zaihe City. Hence, he allowed the fourth elder to lead a group of people to deal with this. This matter would have been settled as long as Xiao Chen was willing to admit to his mistakes and apologize. However, the Shi clan's fourth elder had not expected Xiao Chen's character to be so unyielding. He was not willing to explain the matter at all and challenged him in front of everyone. This made moving forward or backward difficult for him, he did not know what to do. After a while, the Shi clan's fourth elder knew that if he took a step back, they would be truly humiliated. The Shi clan's fourth elder made up his mind and said in a cold voice, just an insignificant junior and yet you dare to speak such savage words. You truly do not know the heights of heavens. I shall discipline you today. The fourth elder waved his hands and drew his sword. Then he sent a sharp sword chi at Xiao Chen. This sword chi was much sharper than ordinary sword chi. It quietly sliced the air like it was water. A crackle of thunder resounded in the air. Xiao Chen had similarly sent out a purple saber chi formed from lightning at the sword chi the fourth elder sent out. Dang. The sword chi and saber chi clashed. Neither gave way and they pushed against each other intensely. The state of thunder Xiao Chen infused into the saber chi flickered with resplendent electricity, giving off, zz, noises. By relying on the advantage of the state, 
Xiao Chen's saber qi was able to force a draw with the sword qi that was practiced to the limits. The Xi clan's fourth elder was mildly startled. He smiled and said, before a state reaches great perfection, it is only an unorthodox method. I will take you down within ten moves. After the Xi clan's fourth elder spoke, he took a step forward. He swung his sword upward and sharp spikes protruded out of the ground and headed for Xiao Chen. Each sharp spike was two meters long and was incredibly sharp. If it struck Xiao Chen, even if he was not severely injured, his skin would be shredded. The speed of the stone spikes was very fast. In the blink of an eye, it had arrived before Xiao Chen. Xiao Chen noticed the height of the stone spikes, they were only about two meters tall. Although the stone spikes had extended for a long distance, if he used the Azure Dragon Cloud Soaring Art, he would be able to leap across them easily. Xiao Chen pushed his feet off the ground and soared into the air. He scattered the state of thunder and launched himself at the Xi clan's fourth elder. When the fourth elder saw Xiao Chen in the air, he revealed a pleased smile. He said, I knew you would definitely leap into the air and not choose to retreat. Pu Si. Pu Si. The moment the fourth elder spoke, the stone spikes on the ground came out and launched themselves at Xiao Chen. They were very fast, almost at the speed of sound and they gave off a loud howl as they flew. Xiao Chen was startled, he had not expected such a change. There was no time to think, he shouted and the illusion of a mountain appeared above before merging into his saber. Lonely Peak's fatal blow. Xiao Che hacked out and a spinning energy was launched into the air. It was like there was a real mountain falling from the sky with a lot of force. Bang! 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 There was a loud sound and the stone spikes in the air were all hacked into pieces. The stone fragments flew around and fell to the ground like rain. A figure with a sword pierced through the rain of stone. Everywhere he passed, the stones were shattered into powder, filling the sky with dust. Xiao Chen's eyes were very sharp. When he saw the dust filling the air, the lunar shadow saber pierced out like lightning. Dang! It seemed like the lunar shadow saber had struck a hard rock. When Xiao Chen pierced out, he was rebounded with a lot of force. He immediately lost his balance in the air as he fell toward the ground rapidly. The fourth elder's voice came from the dust. He laughed coldly and said, My martial spirit has already reached great perfection. It's a fool's dream if you want to break my defense with your weak state of thunder. Rock splitting arrow. The fourth elder shouted and countless cyan rock lines spread throughout his sword. In the next instant, all the lines gathered at the tip of the sword. There was a loud explosion. A huge cyan whirlpool appeared at the sword tip. From the center of the whirlpool, a cyan rock flew out as a sharpened arrow. It then flew rapidly at the falling Xiao Chen. Kai, Kai, Kai. As the arrow pierced through the air, it gave off piercing sonic booms. The explosions in the air created many fluctuations. Many ripples appeared in the air like the surface of water. Xiao Chen slowly descended and watched the cyan arrow. His expression was as calm as before. Everlasting startling cloud. Xiao Chen circulated his essence and used the state of clouds. After a while, large patches of clouds drifted around Xiao Chen. Boom! A crackle of thunder resounded. A tiny thread of purple saber chi parted the layers of clouds, flying very quickly at the cyan arrow. The fine thread moved in a flash like a multicolored light. It was so fast that it seemed unreal. The next moment was very calm, nothing happened at all. The cyan arrow the fourth elder sent out was still making piercing sonic booms in the air as it flew at Xiao Chen. It looked like it would soon hit Xiao Chen, who had already landed. The fourth elder snorted and said, I thought you were some powerful character. You were just merely so-so. Even if I killed you, the heavenly saber pavilion will not make a move for you. As the surrounding cultivators watched the cyan arrow draw closer, 
they all thought it was very unfortunate. At this point in time, Xiao Chen no longer had any way to flee. He could only defend passively against the full-powered strike of this peak martial saint. This was something even a martial king would not dare clash against. No matter how strong Xiao Chen was, as an inferior grade martial saint, it would be foolish to try and block this move, it was simply impossible. Who? The cyan arrow was already less than a meter away from Xiao Chen's face. The wind from the arrow caused Xiao Chen's hair to be blown back. Xiao Chen raised the lunar shadow saber in his hand and shouted, explode. The purple thread that had originally disappeared suddenly reappeared. The instant Xiao Chen spoke, the fine thread expanded out like a screen of water. The cyan arrow in front of him exploded and filled the air with stone fragments, vanishing from the air. At the end of the fine thread was the Xi clan's fourth elder who was in the air. He had not expected that Xiao Chen would have such a move. Fu Si. The fourth elder vomited a mouthful of blood. The clothes in front of his chest were blasted to oblivion. There was a tiny hole in the cyan rock that covered his entire body. Blood was flowing out from the hole unceasingly. Although the wound was small, the electricity on it was strangely strong. It gave off, zzz, sounds, preventing the wound from healing. Purple electricity moved around chaotically in the air. Occasionally, some of it would fall on the ground and explode, creating a deep pit. Xiao Chen stomped on the ground, his body unharmed. He waved his hand and all the remnant electricity in the air gathered at his palm. The gathered electricity turned into a purple ball of electric fire that burned very fiercely. After that, Xiao Chen threw the ball at the fourth elder. The fourth elder was injured and could not dodge in time. He could only toss aside his sword and make a circle with his hands. A cyan whirlpool was condensed. Bang! When the electric fire met the whirlpool, it gave off a resounding sound. A strange energy came from the whirlpool and sucked in the horrifying electric fire. The fourth elder dispersed the whirlpool in his hands before falling to the ground with a pale complexion. Blood kept spurting out of the wound in his chest. Damn it! I underestimated this kid's state of thunder. If I used a little more essence, I would have been able to block that earlier attack. The fourth elder said to himself, feeling very hateful. The strength of an inherited innate martial spirit was indeed not something an ordinary cultivator could compare to. That cyan whirlpool managed to swallow up the electric fire. Xiao Chen thought to himself, Although this was just a casual toss of the purple thunder true fire, victory lies in the hands of the faster person. It would be very difficult for an ordinary person to dodge this. Xiao Chen's opponent was able to block this despite being injured. This proved that he was not simple. Why are you still standing there? Go and capture these two brats. The Xi clan's fourth elder shouted angrily as he watched his wound that did not seem to close. The other Xi clan cultivators immediately got off their horses and headed for Xiao Chen and Lu Sufeng with surging killing intents. Xiao Chen gave them a quick glance and counted them. About a hundred people were surrounding them. There were fifteen inferior grade martial saints and the remainder were peak martial grand masters. Out of the lot of them, at least half of them had the inherited martial spirit of the Xi clan. Even if this group of people were to go up against a martial king, they still held a 50% chance of victory. Xiao Chen grasped the saber hilt tightly and said to Lu Sufeng, I will watch our backs. Find a chance to leave when you can. When Lu Sufeng heard this, he was mildly stunned. He smiled bitterly and said, although I am not very strong, I am still aware that you do not have much chances of victory against these people. Wang. Before Lu Sufeng had finished speaking, a buzz came from a saber in the sky. The sound was initially so soft that it could not be heard. Then, it slowly and slowly became louder until it was like thunder, causing everyone's eardrums to be shaken. 
Lu Su Feng, face lit up with joy. He smiled and said, It's Yun Kashin, the eldest daughter of the Yun clan head. The Yun clan's influence in Zaihe City is not inferior to the Shi clan. We should be fine now. Boom. The heaven-ranked roaming dragon saber descended from the sky. After that, it buried itself into the ground and the street trembled. A translucent crystalline leaf slowly drifted down before vanishing. After that, a person in white clothes appeared, it was Yun Kashin. She pulled out the roaming dragon saber and pointed it at the Shi clan's people. The instant the saber left the ground, the earth started to tremble. The Shi clan's fourth elder finally stopped the bleeding. When he saw Yun Kashin suddenly appearing, he said loudly, girl from the Yun clan. This is none of your business, please make way. Yun Kashin had a calm expression on her face. She said indifferently, Elder Shi, you are going overboard. The Shi clan's fourth elder blushed. He knew that Yun Kashin was referring to him going against the agreement to not make a move against the younger generation. If this was said by an elder in the Yun clan, the Shi clan's fourth elder would not refute that, he would only feel ashamed. However, since it was said by Yun Kashin, he felt even angrier. Since when it is the turn of a lass like you to lecture me? You are not qualified. Make way now. Stop getting in the way of my Shi clan's work. Dong. 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 The deadlock continued on the street until the sound of horses could be heard. The Yun clan cultivators had finally arrived. The one leading them was a middle-aged man. He dismounted from his horse and slowly walked over to the Shi clan's fourth elder with long strides. A horrifying aura was pressing down on the Shi clan's fourth elder viciously. Xiao Chen's spiritual sense picked up on this aura. Xiao Chen thought to himself in astonishment, this is the aura of a medial grade martial king. He could not help but let his gaze linger on this middle-aged man's face. This middle-aged man was no more than 40. He had an outstanding aura and a grave and stern expression. His eyes were brimming with light as he said coldly, If my daughter is not qualified, then do I have the qualifications to lecture you? In front of this surging aura, the Shi clan's fourth elder was finding it somewhat difficult to breathe, his pale face looked extremely unsightly. The Shi clan's fourth elder did not expect the young clan head. Yun Yuji, to come personally over this matter. In front of such absolute power, how could he dare to be angry at all? The Shi clan's fourth elder smiled embarrassedly, Clan head Yun, our clan head has personally instructed us to ensure these two people apologize to our Shi clan. I hope. Scram. Yun Yuji was expressionless. Before the Shi clan's fourth elder could finish, Yun Yuji scolded him, you better scram before I get angry. If Shi Yang insists on an apology, I can accompany him to see the city lord. We can let him decide who is right and who is wrong, as well as who should be apologizing. The fourth elder's face was completely red. He did not expect the Yun clan head to not give him any face. He flung his hands aside and said, Yun Yuji, just watch yourself. After he spoke, he led the Shi clan cultivators to leave this place quickly. This time, the Shi clan has completely lost all face. Earlier, Shi Feng was tossed out into the streets. Now, the fourth edler was scared away by a sentence from Yun Yuji. It would be impossible for their reputation to not get damaged. After Yun Yuji saw that they had gone far away, he ignored them and turned around to face Xiao Chen. He walked over and said with a smile, you must be Yi Chen. Kashin mentioned you before. You are indeed a heroic youth. Come, the two of you should follow me to the Yun residence. No one will harass you there. Up on the third floor of Liu Shang Pavilion, Mu Yangzu muttered to herself when she saw Xiao Chen together with the Yun clan, Shi Feng, you probably still do not know who you have offended. Looks like the Night Spirit Palace will have to reconsider our cooperation with the Shi clan. Senior Sister Mew, how strong is this person exactly? 
Why do I feel that we were unable to resist at all in front of him? Our cultivation realms are clearly similar. Why is this so? A Knight Spirit Palace disciple asked. Mu Yangzu thought for a while before saying, Cultivation realm is not the only indicator of a cultivator's combat prowess. A cultivator's true combat prowess includes their cultivation realm and the grade and rank of all their martial techniques, movement techniques, as well as cultivation techniques. Furthermore, there is also the comprehension of states within their martial techniques. Finally, there are also some external factors like spirit weapon, battle armor, and secret treasures. All these added together makes up the true combat prowess of a cultivator. All his martial techniques, cultivation techniques, and movement techniques are at least superior grade earth ranked. In addition, he has a strong physical body and comprehension of states. In terms of combat prowess, even 10 of you would not be a match for him. That person was feeling somewhat unconvinced. According to your words, even first senior brother is not a match for him. Niu Yangzu smiled faintly and said, Niu Chengshui's cultivation is higher than his, his martial techniques, movement techniques, and cultivation techniques are not weaker than his either. The thing he loses out in is the strength of the physical body. If the two of them fought, their odds of victory are 50-50 each. Another person said, Senior Sister Mew, I think you are overestimating him. From what I saw earlier, he seemed to not be able to do anything to Senior Sister. He is definitely not a match for First Senior Brother. Mew Yangzu said gently, three days later, Mew Chengshe will be participating in that auction as well. If I guessed correctly, this person is also here to participate in the auction. By then, we will know who is stronger. In a small courtyard in the Yun residence, Zaihe City. Xiao Chen and Yun Kashin sat at a stone table. She placed the roaming dragon saber in her hands on the stone table. Then, she looked at Xiao Chen and said, Thank you for your roaming dragon saber. It helped me obtain the status of the Yun clan's successor. A spirit weapon can increase the attacking strength of a cultivator. However, the higher the cultivation realm, the weaker the effect of external items. A profound ranked spirit weapon can raise the attacking prowess of a martial grand master by 20%. However, for a martial saint, it would not even raise it by 10%. Only an earth ranked spirit weapon and above would be able to raise a martial saint's attacking prowess by 20%. Furthermore, an inferior grade heaven ranked spirit weapon would be able to raise the attacking prowess of a martial saint by 50%. If Yun Kexen's strength was raised by 50%, a regular superior grade martial saint would not be a match for her. Yun Kashin watched as Xiao Chen placed the roaming dragon saber into his universe ring. Then she asked in a probing manner. I discovered that your saber is only an inferior grade earth ranked spirit weapon. Why are you not using this heaven ranked spirit weapon? Currently, the roaming dragon saber was indeed stronger than the lunar shadow saber. However, Xiao Chen did not have the intention to use the roaming dragon saber. This was because the lunar shadow saber had much more potential than the roaming dragon saber. A future sub-divine weapon versus a heaven-ranked spirit weapon. Xiao Chen knew which he should pick. In addition, he had already developed some special feelings for the Lunar Shadow Saber, such feelings would be difficult to get over in this lifetime. Xiao Chen smiled and said, I probably got used to it. I only obtained the Roaming Dragon Saber by chance. In the end, I can't use it as smoothly as I can with the Lunar Shadow Saber. When Yun Kashin heard this, she felt joy in her heart. She said, if it is possible, I would like to buy this heaven-ranked weapon. Do you have any intentions to sell it? Xiao Chen was somewhat stunned. He did not understand why Yun Kashin wanted to buy the roaming dragon saber. Although there were no new heaven-ranked spirit weapons in the Tianwu continent for several hundreds of years, there were still many heaven-ranked spirit weapons. 
If there were no accidents, there should be no problems for a heaven-ranked spirit weapon to survive for thousands of years, given their quality. In the end, the roaming dragon saber was only an inferior grade heaven-ranked spirit weapon. After one became a martial king, it would not be very useful anymore. With Yun Kexen's talent, she should have no problems with advancing to martial king. By then, it would not be worth it to purchase another heaven-ranked spirit weapon. Xiao Chen felt suspicious so he asked, Are you sure you want to purchase this heaven-ranked spirit weapon? Yun Kashin nodded seriously, Yes, you can make an offer. As the successor of the Yun clan, the amount of resources at my disposal is now much more than before. I will not let you suffer any disadvantages. Yun Kexen's attitude was very resolute, it even made Xiao Chen hesitate. Xiao Chen could not really use this roaming dragon saber, he could only keep it as a backup weapon. If the price was right, there were no problems with selling it. However, this seemed very out of the ordinary, making it hard for Xiao Chen to make a decision. Could there be some secret within the roaming dragon saber that he did not know about? When Yun Kashin saw Xiao Chen hesitate, she continued, Brother Yi, do you know what item holds the most attraction in this auction? Xiao Chen said, in the once a decade auction of Linlang Pavilion, they would take out some precious manuals, high-ranked battle armor, spirit weapons, or some natural treasures, right? Could there be something else apart from these? Yun Kashin said calmly, these are only the basic items. The biggest highlight of this auction is a secret treasure. Xiao Chen felt it was suspicious, did you say secret treasure? Every auction seems to have those though. There were just less of them. Yi Kashin explained, it is different this time. When the demon battlefield in the desolate lands opened up, some people found many complete secret treasures there. Every auction this time would have at least one complete secret treasure in every round. Complete secret treasure, Xiao Chen thought. He continued pondering, the production methods of the secret treasures from the ancient era have been lost already. Although there were many secret treasures that were passed down, many of them were not complete. Most of them had some amount of damages to the formation markings in them. For example, Xiao Chen's silver warship had been obtained in the ancient remnants. However, it was severely damaged. It was only after Xiao Chen had spent a lot of effort to repair it using the spirit gathering formation that it could barely fly. Of which, if he wanted to repair the offensive formations, it would take months or years in order to completely repair it. There was also the other secret treasure, the Eastern Emperor Bell, it was also damaged beyond recognition. Only after repairing it with the Astral Iron could he use it for a while. However, problems with it occurred again. The degree of damage of a secret treasure had a great effect on the value of a secret treasure. However, it was a different story if it was a complete secret treasure. Yun Kashin continued, I believe you should know the importance of secret treasures to a cultivator. In this auction, you are sure to see some secret treasures. By then, you will be in great need of spirit stones. After beating around the bush, Yun Kashin finally brought the topic back. Xiao Chen could not help but laugh. If it was truly as Yun Kashin said, and that there were many complete secret treasures appearing, it would attract strong cultivators from all over to compete for them. With so many people bidding for it, the price of secret treasures would be increased. Even with Xiao Chen's 5000 medial grade spirit stones, he might not be able to obtain a secret treasure he was satisfied with. Thinking of this, Xiao Chen smiled, very well, give me an offer. I will sell the roaming dragon saber. A trace of a faint smile appeared on Yun Kexen's delicate face. She said, you should have guessed that there are some other secrets about the roaming dragon saber. That is why I would be willing to purchase this. Aren't you afraid of being taken advantage of? The roaming dragon saber had been an unexpected stroke of good fortune to Xiao Chen in the first place, 
it was something that did not cost him anything to obtain. To him, he would not suffer from any disadvantage, regardless of the price. Furthermore, he had once examined this roaming dragon saber for a long time but could not find anything special about it. He only knew that it was a very sharp treasured saber. If Yun Kashin could find the secret of this saber, then it was her fate, and it had nothing to do with Xiao Chen. Xiao Chen laughed and said, there is no disadvantage to me. I cannot use this saber at all. Furthermore, since you said you won't take advantage of me, I believe in what you said and your ability to achieve it. Yun Kashin felt somewhat surprised, she had not expected Xiao Chen to be so open-minded about it. After hesitating for a while, she said, actually, there is an inferior grade heaven ranked cultivation technique, the roaming dragon incantation, hidden within it. My young clan has collected an accompanying movement technique, the roaming dragon steps. When used together, its might would increase by multiple folds. Xiao Chen's expression changed when he heard this. Among all the manuals, cultivation techniques were the most valuable. This was because martial techniques and movement techniques were not able to raise a cultivator's cultivation realm. A heaven-ranked cultivation technique was the true peak of cultivation techniques in the Tianwu continent. Even if it was only inferior grade, it was a priceless treasure. As far as Xiao Chen knew, the Heavenly Saber Pavilion only had three heaven-ranked martial techniques. Only the bloodline of the pavilion master could practice them, they were the true treasures. Yun Kashin said, however, the cultivation technique within it requires a special extraction method to take out. I promise to make a copy for you after I have obtained it. Xiao Chen took out the roaming dragon saber from the universe ring and handed it to Yun Kashin. He said, if you can really do that, then I can give this roaming dragon saber to you. Yun Kashin received the saber and revealed a faint smile. She said, this is merely the agreement between you and me. The ones who decided to buy the roaming dragon saber is the clan. I will give you 5000 medial grade spirit stones. Xiao Chen thought for a while, he knew what Yun Kashin meant. If the Yun clan obtained the roaming dragon incantation, they would not allow for it to be leaked out. Yun Kashin was very brave to want to make a copy for him. If the clan knew about it, they would surely not agree. In three days time, I will pass the spirit stones to you. You should rest first. After Yun Kashin spoke, she took her leave. Later that night, within a secret room in the Yun clan, the Yun clan head and a group of elders were gathered together with grave expressions. One of the elders said to Yun Yuji, Clan head, we still have not discovered the identity of this Yi Chen. He seems to have appeared out of nowhere. We only knew that he used Feng Feishui's recommendation letter to enter the Heavenly Saber Pavilion. When Yun Yuji heard this, he revealed a sullen expression. After a while, he said, never mind, let's just give him the 5000 medial grade spirit stones and forget about having other thoughts. One of the elders was not convinced, who said, Clan head, 5000 medial grade spirit stones is the accumulation of our young clan for at least a hundred years. Yun Yuji waved it off and said, spirit stones are dead objects in the end. With this heaven ranked cultivation technique, we can nurture at least 10 loyal martial kings. It would be sufficient for the young clan to suppress the other two noble clans in Zaihe city. Furthermore, it is clear he has a relationship with the Feng clan. If we made a move against him, we might offend the Feng clan. I also do not want to upset Kashin. Don't mention the matter of silencing him again. There were three more days until the start of the auction. During these three days, Xiao Chen did not stay idle. He spent every moment he could cultivating, consolidating his strength as a peak inferior grade martial saint. Xiao Chen was currently making preparations to advance to medial grade martial saint. Once he reached medial grade martial saint, Xiao Chen would be able to use the large number of medial grade spirit stones in his universe ring. 
The spiritual energy in medial grade spirit stones was not only pure, but they were vast in amount as well. Cultivating with the medial grade spirit stone for one day was like cultivating normally for a week. Furthermore, this calculation was made based on the density of spirit energy on the Lingyun mountain range. If it was according to the spirit energy found below, it was like cultivating for half a month. This was why the value of medial grade spirit stones was so high. To a cultivator, his life would end some day. They had to absorb as much spiritual energy and raise their cultivation realm as high as they could within this limited time. To Xiao Chen, saving time was very important. He had only started cultivating at 15. As for those geniuses, they had already been cultivating since they were born. Their starting point was much higher than Xiao Chen's. Hence, he had never dared to relax for a moment. Even so, his cultivation realm was still lower than those geniuses. Hence, he had to think of other methods. Using medial grade spirit stones was one such method to allow him to catch up to those geniuses. This was also one of the important reasons why Xiao Chen agreed to sell the roaming dragon saber. It was because he was urgently in need of medial grade spirit stones. Three days passed very quickly. On this particular morning, Xiao Chen felt a strong aura slowly headed toward his courtyard when he opened his eyes. Xiao Chen got up and quickly came out. He discovered that it was the Yun clan head, Yun Yuji. He cupped his hands respectfully and said, Senior Yun, is there something you need to look for me for? Yun Yuji scanned Xiao Chen with a sharp gaze. He nodded silently to himself. Although Xiao Chen's cultivation realm was not high, his essence was withdrawn and calm. There was no feeling of restlessness at all, and it was clear he had spent a lot of time cultivating. Furthermore, based on the news he had received over these three days, Yun Yuji had a deep understanding of Xiao Chen. Yun Yuji knew that although Xiao Chen was only an inferior grade martial saint, his true combat prowess was not inferior to that of a superior grade martial saint. He was able to have such a cultivation at such a young age, so his future would be very bright. Hence, Yun Yuji gave up on the idea of killing Xiao Chen to save 5,000 medial grade spirit stones. If they were careless and let him escape while doing so, the Yun clan would be in trouble when he grew up. Instead, he might as well establish good relations with him before he matured. In the future, the Yun clan might be able to obtain a strong helper. Yun Yuji collected his thoughts. He smiled and said, 5,000 medial grade spirit stones is quite a large sum for the Yun clan. It took us some time to gather it and bring it to you. Yun Yuji waved his hand and a large pile of sparkling medial grade spirit stone stumbled onto the ground with a loud sound. Under the bright sunlight, it was somewhat dazzling. This was not the first time Xiao Chen had seen so many medial grade spirit stones. However, he still felt somewhat excited in his heart. However, he maintained a calm expression on his face. That's right, our young clan will be participating in the auction today. Do you want to come with us? Yun Yuji invited warmly. Xiao Chen preferred quiet. Furthermore, he did not want to let others know of some of the things he would be buying. So he could only reject politely. Yun Yuji smiled and did not push the matter. After that, he took out a VIP card and handed it to Xiao Chen. This VIP card will let you get a VIP booth in the auction. You should keep it, consider it as a token of kind intentions from my humble self. Xiao Chen had always been a straightforward person. This VIP card was very useful to him, as it would save a lot of unnecessary trouble for him. Xiao Chen did not reject the VIP card and gave thanks to Yun Yuji, many thanks to Senior Yun's kind intentions. I will remember this favor. Yun Yuji laughed and said, it is just a VIP card, it is not much of a favor. I shall take my leave first. After Yun Yuji left, Xiao Chen did some calculations in his heart. 
In addition to the 5,000 medial grade spirit stone, he had the 5,000 spirit stones from the underground world and the 200 medial grade spirit stones from the mission reward. That was a total of 10,200 medial grade spirit stones. This was an extremely large sum. Such a large sum was equivalent to several hundred years of accumulation for some noble clans. If he used it all on cultivation, it would last him a very long time. Furthermore, Xiao Chen had many inferior grade spirit stones. These inferior grade spirit stones came from various sources. Some were obtained by using gold, some were by selling spirit cores, and there were many obtained from the bandits in the Devil Savannah. When they were all added together, there were about 100,000 inferior grade spirit stones. These were now not very useful to Xiao Chen anymore, as he could only use them to purchase things. Aside from these, he had also obtained some demonic cores from the subspace. If he exchanged them for spirit stones, he would obtain a large sum as well. After finishing his calculations, Xiao Chen said, No matter how good the items at the auction are, I can only spend 3000 medial grade spirit stones. I have to keep the remainder for cultivation. Originally, Xiao Chen's aim at the auction was only a lightning attributed high ranked martial technique. At most, he would only spend 100,000 inferior grade spirit stones. However, Yun Kashin told him that there would be a large number of secret treasures in this auction. So that was another target added to his list. To regular cultivators, secret treasures could only augment their combat prowess. However, to Xiao Chen, with the aid of the Compendium of Cultivation, he might be able to understand what was inside the secret treasure, he might be able to refine his own secret treasure in the future. If Xiao Chen was able to grasp the method of refining secret treasures, then there would be no need to worry about spirit stones anymore in the future. Hence, Xiao Chen would do his best to obtain a secret treasure. Not long later, Lu Sufeng rushed over with obvious excitement on his face. Lu Sufeng said, Yi Chen, the Yun clan had invited us to go to the auction together. Should we go? Xiao Chen shook his head and said, I've already rejected them. If you want to, you can go yourself. I prefer quiet. Lu Sufeng said, then never mind, I'll come with you. The two of them stayed silent after that. After they left the Yun Residence's gates, they asked around for the location of Linlang Pavilion and headed there immediately. Along the way, they saw many rushing cultivators, they were all headed in the direction of Linlang Pavilion. There were people from various sects and places, it was extremely lively. They two of them moved pretty fast, they arrived at the gates of Linlang Pavilion within 10 minutes. However, they discovered that there were many cultivators gathered at the gates. They were prevented from entering by the guards. After they asked around, they found out that this auction had a high entry requirement. If one was not a martial saint or had an invitation card, they would not be able to enter. As a result, a large group of martial grand masters were stopped at the gates. There was a large number of these cultivators, they all had dissatisfied expressions on their faces but they did not dare to mess around. Lu Sufeng whispered, good thing I am already an inferior grade martial saint. Otherwise, I would not be qualified to enter. These requirements are extraordinarily high. As the space within Linlang Pavilion was limited, a high entry requirement was needed. If they let so many people in, there would not be enough space, resulting in the auction being unable to start. The two of them parted the crowd and headed to the gate. When the guards saw their cultivation realm, they allowed them in without blocking them. As the two of them entered, they noticed a simple counter at the side. There was a pretty girl behind the counter who said, Sirs, please buy a ticket first. Lu Sufeng was about to step forward and inquire about the price when Xiao Chen stopped him. Xiao Chen took out the VIP card that Yun Yuji had given him and handed it over. 
The girl received the VIP card and took a look. A smile immediately appeared on her face as she said, The two of you have a VIP card, in that case, there is no need to buy tickets. You can go up to the second floor directly. After you find your booth number, you can enter. Xiao Chen took the VIP card back and headed to the second floor together with Lu Sufeng. The auction was conducted in a circular area with the stage in the center. The central seats in the hall were almost filled up. There was a lot of people squeezed together, everyone was shoulder to shoulder. Xiao Chen looked for a manservant and under his lead, they soon found their booth. There was a lot of space in the booth. The window was wide open so they could clearly see everything in the hall. Lu Sufeng felt it was strange. He asked, I did not expect for us to be able to get a booth. When did you get a VIP card? Don't tell me this Linlang pavilion is opened by the damn fatty as well. Xiao Chen sat on the round stool comfortably and took a sip of tea. Then he said, of course not. The VIP card was given to me by Yun Yuji this morning. Lu Sufeng felt dissatisfied and said, how depressing. Why did he not give me one as well? Xiao Chen smiled and said, if you sold him a heaven-ranked spirit weapon, he would give you one as well. All right, stop speaking. See, the auctioneer is going up. Lu Sufeng stopped asking questions and looked through the window. Indeed, he saw the auctioneer coming out with a smile filling his face. Immediately after the auctioneer appeared, the sounds of discussions in the hall quieted down, it had become absolutely silent. The auctioneer's clear and resonant voice appeared in everyone's ears, thank you, everyone, for participating in our Linlang Pavilion's once a decade huge scale auction. I shall keep things short. After I give a brief introduction of the auction, we will start immediately. We will not waste everyone's time. This auction will be separated into 10 rounds. As everyone has guessed, the things being auctioned will get more precious with every round. The auctioneer paused after this, then he raised his voice and said, In each round, we will be auctioning a complete secret treasure. That's right, an undamaged complete secret treasure. An ancient secret treasure that can be used immediately after winning the auction. After the enthusiastic voice of the auctioneer sounded out, the quiet hall immediately became noisy again. Everyone was discussing what they had just heard. There really are complete secret treasures, 10 complete secret treasures. Linlang Pavilion is really going all out. I heard that the demon battlefield has opened again. It looks like many cultivators will go there to try their luck after this auction. Haha, ha, you want to go to the demon battlefield without being a martial king. Aside from death, there would be no other results. Even a martial king could not ensure their safety there. I have heard that this time, many famous martial kings have died in there. Demon Battlefield, this is the second time I heard of this, Xiao Chen thought to himself. What kind of place is this? Why did secret treasures appear there? If I have time in the future, I should go and check it out. When the auctioneer heard the noises of discussions in the hall, he was very satisfied with the results. After the sounds became softer, his clear voice resounded out again, the rules of the auction will be the same as the past. I believe everyone understands them already. There is only one change to the rules. That is, all transaction must be completed with spirit stones. A medial grade spirit stones is considered as 100 inferior grade spirit stones. I now declare the start of the auction. I shall now announce the first item on auction. A superior grade spirit stone. The starting price is 10,000 inferior grade spirit stones. You may begin bidding now. The first item was actually a superior grade spirit stone. Not only was Xiao Chen surprised, everyone else in the hall was also feeling incomparably astonished. One superior grade spirit stone was equivalent to a hundred medial grade spirit stones, which would be worth 100,000 inferior grade spirit stones. However, 
Everyone knew that was not how the price was calculated. Just like how no one would be foolish enough to use a medial grade spirit stone to exchange for inferior grade spirit stones, no one would use a superior grade spirit stone to exchange for inferior grade spirit stones. The value of a superior grade spirit stone could no longer be calculated easily using inferior grade spirit stones, it could already be considered as a natural treasure. The spiritual energy within was not only pure but also in large quantities while being very gentle. Cultivators of any cultivation realm could use them. For cultivators below martial saint, they could even use it to increase their cultivation by one realm. However, no one would use a superior grade spirit stone before they were a martial saint, it would only be a waste of a good item. People would only use them when they were martial kings or martial monarchs. Only then could they completely absorb the energy in the superior grade spirit stone without wasting any of it. Given the density of the spiritual energy in the Great Chin Nation and the limited spirit veins, there might not even be a single superior grade spirit stone appearing in 10 years. This showed how rare superior grade spirit stones were. Xiao Chen looked at the shiny superior grade spirit stone on the stage and could not help but feel tempted. A superior grade spirit stone was something that could only be discovered and not sought. It carried a fatal attraction to almost all cultivators. Lu Sufeng shook his head and sighed, Haze, a huge scale auction is truly different. Just the first item and I cannot resist the desire to bid on it. Maybe because the superior grade spirit stone gave the crowd too big of a shock, but there was silence for a short period of time. No one immediately called out a bid. My final offer, 20,000. How could you call 20,000 your final offer? I offer 30,000. 50,000. After a while, the hall was filled with sounds of people calling out bids unceasingly. Every time the price increased, it increased by 10,000. Soon, the bid had risen to 50,000 inferior grade spirit stones. After the price passed 50,000, the pace of people calling out bids slowed down. After all, although a superior grade spirit stone was a good item, there was a limit to its value. Within a year, by means of effort and all sorts of missions, the most a martial saint could obtain was no more than 10,000 inferior grade spirit stones if there were no miraculous encounters. Furthermore, this was when the conditions were good. If the conditions were poor, they would be glad if they could even get 5,000 inferior grade spirit stones. If that was so, 50,000 inferior grade spirit stones would require 5 years to accumulate. If they only purchased one superior grade spirit stone, the gains would not make up for the losses. After all, superior grade spirit stones could only be used in the most efficient manner when one became a martial king. Not being able to use it immediately after they brought it was a problem as well. 60,000 70,000 75,000 80,000 After that, the crowd went silent for a while and an endless string of bidding started again. The ones bidding were the martial kings or cultivators with big clans or sects supporting them. The auctioneer revealed a joyful expression. He originally thought he would be able to only get 50,000 inferior grade spirit stones for this item. He did not expect the bids to increase to 80,000. 80,000 going once, 80,000 going twice. Is there anyone who wants to bid more than 80,000? If there is none, then this superior grade spirit stones will belong to the people in booth 8. Up in booth 8 on the second floor, two old men looked down at the auction with calm expressions. They were independent martial kings who had become famous in Zaihe city long ago. However, when their gazes were examined carefully, one would discover that under their calm expressions, there was a hidden evil aura, it was incomparably malicious. If someone below saw them, they would be able to recognize them. One was Zhe Yuntian and the other was Zhe Yunfei. 
The two of them were blood brothers and they had a famous nickname in the Zaihe province. They were often called the Zaihe twin menaces. They were very vicious, killing people for their treasures was a norm for them. Zhe Yunfei smiled and said, Big brother, it looks like this superior grade spirit stone will be yours. Zhe Yuntian smiled and said, I have been stuck at early inferior grade martial king for 10 years already. With this superior grade spirit stone, it should be enough to propel me to peak inferior grade martial king. One should not underestimate the difference between early inferior grade martial king and peak inferior grade martial king. Every rise in grade after martial saint would be very difficult. However, every time they advanced by a grade, there would be a great rise in strength. This would be more apparent in the martial king realm. Cultivators with insufficient talents would be stuck at early inferior grade martial king forever. If one's talent was insufficient, they could only think of other methods to advance. Using a superior grade spirit stone was one such method. In booth 9, besides booth 8, there was a group of night spirit palace disciples seated together. One of them said, Senior brother Mew, are you not going to compete for this superior grade spirit stone? The person who was addressed as senior brother Mew was the top expert from the night spirit palace, Mew Changshe. A smile appeared on his handsome face as he downplayed the situation, a superior grade spirit stone is indeed precious. However, the price now is too high. There is no need to make a move. Furthermore, as far as I'm concerned, it is not something essential. It is like adding flowers to a brocade, it is of no importance. TL note. Adding flowers to a brocade, this means decorating something already perfect. The other disciples could not understand what Mu Chengshe meant, only Mu Yangzu did. Superior grade spirit stones were very useful to cultivators without a high talent such as Zhe Yuntian. Although he had advanced to martial king, he had been stuck at inferior grade martial king for 10 years due to his low talent. However, to a genius like Mu Chengshe, such a bottleneck would not occur. With Mu Chengshui's talent, he would reach peak superior grade martial king before running into a huge bottleneck. Hence, this superior grade spirit stone would only have the effect of trying to improve on perfection. Back in Xiao Chen's booth, Xiao Chen had thought for a while, before deciding to give up in the end. His reason was the same as Mu Chengshe. The price of 80,000 inferior grade spirit stones was too high, it was not worth it. Furthermore, Xiao Chen still had the spirit core of a Golden Lion King in his universe ring. The Golden Lion King had the bloodline of an ancient mutated beast, its spirit core was not inferior to a superior grade spirit stone. If Xiao Chen ran into a bottleneck later, he could rely on the Golden Lion King's spirit core instead. 100,000 inferior grade spirit stones. I want it. Just as the auctioneer was about to close the deal, a loud bid resounded in the large hall. Furthermore, that person had raised the price by 20,000 inferior grade spirit stones in one go. The auctioneer revealed an excited expression. He said agitatedly, someone from booth 20 offered 100,000 inferior grade spirit stones. Is there a higher offer? This is a superior grade spirit stone. A superior grade spirit stone that could help a martial king raise his cultivation by a grade. Friends from booth 8, are you going to raise the price? Bang! Zhe Yuntian smashed his palm on the teacup that was placed on the table. The teacup was immediately smashed into powder. The calm look on his face had completely disappeared. He turned incredibly savage, leaking killing intent. Zhe Yunfei said, Big brother, I still have 150,000 inferior grade spirit stones. Let's add another 50,000 and see if he dares to raise the price again. Zhe Yuntian revealed a cruel smile on his face as he said, no need. I want to see who dared to compete with me for this. 
I will make them pay it back with interest. Zhe Yunfei reacted to his brother's words with a smile as well. He had nearly forgotten the way he normally did things. After the auction ends, all he had to do was snatch it back. When Xiao Chen heard the bid of 100,000 inferior grade spirit stones, he felt somewhat astonished as well. This was clearly not the true price of a superior grade spirit stone, it was really not worth it. Xiao Chen hesitated for a while before he fired his spiritual sense out like an arrow at booth 20. After a while, he saw the person in booth 20. Chu Chaoyun. Xiao Chen said with suspicion, why does he want this superior grade spirit stone? With his talent, this does not make sense. Chu Chaoyun frowned slightly in the booth, it was like he felt that someone was observing him. He faced the girl beside him and said, go and check out who is in booth 8. I felt two sets of strong killing intent from there. Xiao Chen quickly withdrew his spiritual sense, he thought that Chu Chaoyun had felt his spiritual sense. So he had actually sensed another person. In the end, no one else bid on the superior grade spirit stone. Chu Chaoyun obtained it with the winning bid of 100,000 inferior grade spirit stones. Then auction continued. The second item was not as dazzling. It was only an inferior grade earth ranked spirit weapon. The starting price was 1000 inferior grade spirit stones. In the end, it was obtained by a cultivator from a small sect with a bid of 5000 inferior grade spirit stones. Although the other goods in the first round were precious, aside from the initial superior grade spirit stone, nothing else caught Xiao Chen's interest in the first round. However, Lu Sufeng had spent 10,000 inferior grade spirit stones to win the bid on a superior grade earth ranked martial technique. This martial technique was pretty good, it was of a pretty good standard when compared to other superior grade earth ranked martial techniques. Soon, the first round of the auction was about to end. At the final moment, the voice of the auctioneer clearly became much more excited. Suddenly, Two cultivators got onto the stage. The auctioneer explained, this is the final item in this round. I am sure everyone can guess what it is. We decided to use the most thorough method to exhibit this secret treasure to everybody. Of the two cultivators, one of them had a higher cultivation, he was a peak superior grade martial saint. The other was an ordinary martial grand master. The auctioneer nodded to the two people, indicating for them to begin. The peak martial saint started storing up his power and his aura started to rise. The cultivators who were near the stage could feel some pressure. When the peak martial saint raised his aura to its peak, he bellowed and punched at the martial grand master. Boom. However, the crowd was shocked to see a light appear on the martial grand master. When the peak martial saint struck out with his full power, it struck the light covering the martial grand master and gave off a depressed sound. There were ripples on the shield of light but there were no signs of it breaking. Instead, the peak martial saint was jolted by the force that rebounded from the light shield. His complexion turned pale and he retreated by a few steps, before he slowly stood up stably. The martial grade master dispersed the light shield and appeared to be completely unharmed. He removed a jade pendant from his neck and handed it to the auctioneer. Then the two cultivators took their leave and left. The auctioneer received the jade pendant and his clear voice sounded out again, everyone has seen it for themselves earlier. This jade pendant enabled a martial grand master to block the full powered strike of a peak martial saint easily. Furthermore, it was not simply blocking. It could reflect one-third of the force back to the attacker. According to the tests at our Linlang Pavilion, this secret treasure could, at best, block the full power strike of a peak medial grade martial king. There is only one weak point to it. It can only be used once a day. Aside from that, there are no other weaknesses. The bidding begins now. The starting price is 10,000 inferior grade spirit stones, each raise has to be by at least 2,000 inferior grade spirit stones. 
Linlang Pavilion's reputation has always been very good. Since they claimed it could block the full power strike of a peak medial grade martial king, then it should not be wrong. Given this information, this jade pendant's effect was a little horrifying. Although it could only be used once a day, it could save one's life at a critical moment. It might even be able to turn the situation around and transform a defeat into a victory. This was because of the reflective abilities of the light shield. When the opponent was not aware of it, this would be a very good trump card. Such a secret treasure was very useful to a cultivator. When they were in a dangerous situation, the odds of their survival would be significantly increased. Lu Sufeng smiled, this is a good item, much better than normal. If the price does not exceed 100,000 inferior grade spirit stones, I will want to get it. Xiao Chen was also quite interested in this secret treasure. If it could really block a strike from a peak medial grade martial king, it was very practical and very strong. 20,000, 35,000, 50,000, 80,000. The bidding war for the jade pendant moved very fast, it was even more intense than the bid for the superior grade spirit stone. Within a short amount of time, someone had already called out a bid of 80,000 inferior grade spirit stones. Lu Sufeng muttered as he smiled, it seems like everyone is afraid of dying. Xiao Chen thought for a while and made his move at this moment, 100,000. Lu Sufeng was somewhat surprised. He said, Yi Chen, you want this jade pendant too. I thought you wouldn't need it. In Lu Sufeng's opinion, Xiao Chen had a very fast movement technique. Even if he met an opponent he could not beat, he could always make use of his movement techniques to flee. Instead of spending a large amount of spirit stones to buy a defensive secret treasure, Xiao Chen might as well wait for a bid and purchase an offensive secret treasure. Xiao Chen smiled faintly and said, if it is possible, I would like to obtain all 10 secret treasures. Furthermore, with our recent situation, it would be very useful. After the bid was pushed to 100,000, the hall turned quiet for a while. 100,000 inferior grade spirit stones was already an extremely horrifying figure. One would have to consider carefully before they could raise the bid. 150,000. At this moment, a deep voice suddenly resounded and raised the bid by 50,000, astonishing everybody. The auctioneer immediately caught hold of the opportunity and said excitedly, 150,000 inferior grade spirit stones. This cultivator in black is really straightforward. Is there any bid higher than 150,000? Xiao Chen was mildly surprised. He peered through the window and discovered that the person who had called out the bid was a peak martial saint in black wearing a cloak. Shrouded by the cloak, no one could see his appearance clearly, he seemed incredibly mysterious. Xiao Chen pondered for a moment and continued to bid, 200,000. The auctioneer's spirit was raised very high now. The higher the bid, the more commission he would receive. He said excitedly, booth 18 bids 200,000. Does the cultivator in black wish to raise the bid? The black-clothed cultivator muttered to himself for a while before raising his head to cast a glance at Xiao Chen's booth. When Xiao Chen looked down, he saw a pair of green eyes, it looked extremely strange. The man in black withdrew his gaze and waved his hands to indicate that he had given up. 200,000 was already a sky-high price. Even a cultivator with the backing of a huge sect would find it difficult to pay such a high price. In the end, the auctioneer called out three times and closed the bid. Xiao Chen had successfully obtained the first secret treasure. Lu Sufeng said, 200,000 to purchase a defensive secret treasure, is that worth it? Hey, Yi Chen, what's wrong? Are you regretting it? Ever since Xiao Chen saw those pair of green eyes, he had not recovered his wits. The shock those green eyes had given him was too great. That person was simply like the devil that had crawled out of hell, it was incredibly strange. 
Xiao Chen had never seen anyone with green eyes before. Xiao Chen recovered his wits and replied, 200,000 inferior grade spirit stones is worth it. It can defend against the full-powered strike of a peak medial grade martial king. Did you forget that we were being targeted by someone on our way here? With this jade pendant, I can give that person a surprise. The second round of the auction started. Xiao Chen already had an idea of how the auction was being run. In every round, the first and the last item would be very attractive. Indeed it was as Xiao Chen had guessed. The auctioneer slowly took out the first item of the second round. A smile filled his face as he introduced, this is a bottle of essence gathering pills. There is a total of 20 pills in here. Below the cultivation realm of Martial King, it would increase the odds of success when advancing by 20%. No one in the Great Qin Nation can refine these pills. Even in the Great Jin Nation, there is a limited number of them. The starting price is still 10,000 spirit stones. Inside booth 9, a light flashed in Mu Chengshui's eyes. He clenched his fist tightly and said, the thing that I wanted has finally arrived. I must obtain this medicinal pill. It was a true treasure that did not need any introduction. The price of the essence gathering pill was bumped up to a horrifying price of 100,000 inferior grade spirit stones very soon. 100,000 inferior grade spirit stones was a big dividing line. Those who could afford such a price were either martial kings or disciples with big clans or sects backing them. Mu Chengshe called out, 200,000. Mu Chengshe increased the bid by 100,000 in one breath. This horrifying bid stunned some of the cultivators who intended to continue competing. Even if they could take out 200,000 inferior grade spirit stones, they could not do so as calmly as Mu Chengshe. He clearly had a great need for it and was willing to offer a higher price. Booth 9. I seem to recall that Mu Chengshe entered Booth 9. No wonder he is so rich and overbearing. As the first in line to succeed the Night Spirit Palace and is the strongest person in the younger generation there, the amount of resources he has access to is not something a regular person can compare to. I believe even the people who could compete with him would give up on account of the Night Spirit Palace. Indeed, in order to prevent everyone raising the price and making everyone suffer disadvantages, it is better to give each other some face. When the people below saw that no one else called out a bid exceeding 200,000, they started to discuss this matter. Up on the stage, the auctioneer was clearly not as calm as he was before. The normal value of this bottle of essence gathering pill was 100,000 inferior grade spirit stones. The price had only doubled in his auction. After deducting some expenses, Linlang Pavilion would not be able to earn much. The auctioneer called out in a loud voice, only 200,000. These are genuine essence gathering pills. Aside from Linlang Pavilion, you will not be able to purchase it within the Great Chin Nation. 250,000. The auctioneer's eyes lit up as he smiled and said loudly, Booth 18 bid 250,000. Honored guest in Booth 9, will you raise the bid? It had to be said that this auctioneer could be very provocative. He was able to make people more agitated at certain times. In a moment of irrationality, an ordinary person might fall into the trap. Mu Chengshe revealed a faint killing intent in his eyes as he said coldly, 300,000. Mu Chengshe left the sect this time in order to obtain this essence gathering pill. He originally thought that he would definitely obtain it if he brought 400,000 inferior grade spirit stones. Who would have guessed that an unexpected obstruction would appear, completely messing up his plans. Xiao Chen was completely confident about obtaining these essence gathering pills. This item was extremely useful to him. With the essence gathering pill, he would be able to make a breakthrough to medial grade martial saint immediately. Once Xiao Chen advanced to medial grade martial saint, he would be able to use medial grade spirit stones. By then, 
his cultivation would be raised at a horrifying rate. Xiao Chen did not hesitate to shout, 400,000. Mu Chengshui's expression was currently extremely unsightly. He asked, do you all still have spirit stones? Lend some to me first, I will pay you back when we return. Mu Yangzu said, I can lend you 20,000, I still need the rest for bidding. I only have 5,000. I have 10,000. When the disciples of the Night Spirit Palace pooled their spirit stones together, Mu Chengshui finally managed to amass 450,000 inferior grade spirit stones. He shouted, 450,000. Xiao Chen remained calm and casually called out, 500,000. The entire hall became silent. No one had expected a bottle of essence gathering pills to fetch such a high price. It would take five or six years for a regular martial saint to obtain 500,000 spirit stones. This was simply an astronomical price. Yet, this person did not hesitate to bid such an amount on a bottle of essence gathering pills. Booth 18, how is it booth 18 again? The person who won the bid for the first secret treasure seems to be this person as well. I don't know who this person is but for him to dare to snatch Mu Chengshui's item, there will be a good show to watch later. A person who is able to take out 700,000 inferior grade spirit stones is definitely not someone that is easy to deal with. He might not be afraid of the night spirit palace. When Xiao Chen made his move again, it immediately became the focus of everybody's conversations. The auctioneer on the stage was incredibly excited. His face was covered with an agitated smile as he said, 500,000 inferior grade spirit stones, is there anyone who intends to place a higher bid? Friend from booth 9, are you interested? Mu Chengshui had a sullen expression, he did not say anything but instead clenched his right fist tightly. The other night spirit palace disciples all felt a chill. They had never seen Mu Chengshui so angry before. After a while, Mu Chengshui's face relaxed. He sat down gently on the round wooden stool. His center of gravity shifted down and pressed on the floorboards, causing it to creak as he slowly closed his eyes. Mu Yangzu, who was familiar with Mu Chengshui, knew he was really angry now and had awakened an intent to kill. After he called out three times without anyone responding, Xiao Chen successfully obtained this bottle of essence gathering pills. He revealed a faint smile on his face. Lu Sufeng said in astonishment, Yi Chen, where did you get so many inferior grade spirit stones from? It's 500,000 inferior grade spirit stones. Xiao Chen smiled and said, I obtained many demonic cores in the subspace. If I sell all of them away, I will even be able to easily afford to bid another 200,000 inferior grade spirit stones on this. Xiao Chen originally intended to keep the demonic cores in the universe ring for his own use. Given the situation, he could only choose to use them here. Regardless of the situation, out of the 10,000 medial grade spirit stones Xiao Chen had, he could only use 7,000. That would be 700,000 inferior grade spirit stones. He had to keep the remainder for himself to use. When the second round of auctions began, Xiao Chen paid more attention. The items in this round were more precious than the last. Unfortunately, the item that he wanted did not show up. The atmosphere in the auction hall became more and more lively. Many cultivators managed to obtain what they wanted. Soon, the second secret treasure appeared. At first look, it looked like a pair of ordinary shoes. However, after the demonstration, everyone found out that it could raise a cultivator's speed by almost 20%. This 20% should not be underestimated. To martial masters and martial grand masters, 20% was only a small amount of speed. However, to cultivators of a higher realm, their speed was originally very fast in the first place. By raising it by 20%, their speed would become very horrifying. After the demonstration was over, the auctioneer smiled and said, 
I gave this pair of shoes a pleasant name, Windwalk Shoes. 20% increase in speed is useful no matter if you intend to flee or attack the enemy. It will allow you to retreat or advance as you please. TL Note. Windwalk Shoes, the Chinese word for it is Feng Xing Shui. The first two characters mean windwalk, but they can also mean fashionable. I believe this was intentionally done so that the shoes had two meanings. First, of course, meaning speed, and the second, good looking. Fashionable shoes could be a plausible name too. Unfortunately, there is no way to express two meanings like the Chinese words do in English. Furthermore, there is no limit to the usage of this pair of shoes. However, it was exhaust some essence when used. The starting price is 10,000 inferior grade spirit stones. There were simply too many good items in this auction. This windwalk shoes had captured Xiao Chen's attention at first glance. He did some calculations but discovered that he did not have sufficient spirit stones. Xiao Chen had spent 200,000 on the first secret treasure and 500,000 on the medicinal pills. That was a total of 700,000. He initially had 1,200,000 inferior grade spirit stones. If he sold the demonic cores, he would have about 1,500,000 inferior grade spirit stones. That is to say, he now had about 800,000 inferior grade spirit stones remaining. Furthermore, he had to reserve 3,000 medial grade spirit stones for his own use. So the amount he could use was only about 500,000 inferior grade spirit stones. Xiao Chen thought to himself, if it is more than 300,000 inferior grade spirit stones, I will not buy it. I still have to keep some in order to obtain a high rank lightning attributed martial technique. As Xiao Chen was thinking, the bidding on the windwalk shoes was already raised to 150,000 inferior grade spirit stones. 200,000. At this crucial moment, Xiao Chen made his move again. He immediately raised the bid by 50,000 inferior grade spirit stones. The intense bidding war in the hall immediately went silent. It is booth 18 again. How many spirit stones does this person have? Even a regular big clan would not be able to take out so many inferior grade spirit stones in one go. He is really rich, who in the world is he? Everyone below was whispering to each other. Occasionally, someone would cast a glance in Xiao Chen's direction. Xiao Chen hid inside the booth, avoiding all these gazes. After a moment of silence, somebody in the silent hall bid again, 220,000. However, it was only an additional 20,000. Xiao Chen did not hesitate to bid, 300,000. The auctioneer said excitedly, the honored guest in booth 18 bid 300,000. Is there anyone willing to bid more than 300,000? HMPH. The person who bid earlier snorted coldly and stopped bidding. After that, no one continued to bid. After three calls, Xiao Chen successfully obtained the windwalk shoes. When the third round of the auction began, the first item was very attractive like before. However, Xiao Chen did not have much left, so he could not participate in this. After this, the auction continued. The items now were better than before but they did not catch Xiao Chen's attention, so he did not make a move. This continued until the third secret treasure was successfully sold. Xiao Chen did not bid at all. The people below heaved sighs of relief. If Xiao Chen bid on this secret treasure again, it would end up preventing them from obtaining secret treasures. This would result in him incurring everybody's wrath. The auction continued on and all sorts of manuals were placed on auction. However, none of them were the high rank lightning attributed martial technique that Xiao Chen wanted. Xiao Chen could not help but feel this to be somewhat tedious. Suddenly, he frowned and sent out a strand of purple thunder true fire from his right hand. Pu Si. In an instant, the purple flames pierced through the big wooden doors. A soft cry of pain could be heard from outside. The instant Xiao Chen made his move, 
he sent out his spiritual sense at lightning speed as well. However, he did not discover anyone spying on him. He only found traces of blood outside. What a fast speed, Xiao Chen thought to himself. That person's skill at hiding their aura was very good too, I wonder who it is. Lu Sufeng said in astonishment, is someone targeting us? Xiao Chen nodded and said, you should go out and join the young clan first. I will come out alone later. Lu Sufeng knew that Xiao Chen did not want to let him take any risks. After he told Xiao Chen to be careful, he quickly left booth 18. After that, Xiao Chen kept his guard up, extending his spiritual sense outside. He kept his entire surroundings under surveillance. Suddenly, flowing water appeared on the ground of the booth where Chu Chaoyun was. After a while, the water gathered and formed a human shape. It was the girl who went out to gather intelligence. The girl said with a melodious voice, I investigated the people in booth 8, they are the Zaihe twin menace. I heard them say that they are prepared to make a move against senior brother. Chu Chaoyun smiled and said, so it is those two dancing clowns. They are of no importance. Bing Chin, what's wrong with your hand? When Chu Chaoyun noticed the wound on the girl's hand, he could not help but ask. Bing Chin smiled and said, just a small wound, it's not a problem. On my way by, I decided to check out the person in booth 18 but I got discovered by him. Chu Chaoyun was somewhat surprised. Bing Chin's martial spirit was quite special. When she hid her aura, even a regular martial king would not be able to discover her. The person in booth 18 is the old friend that senior brother saw in Liusheng Pavilion. Chu Chaoyun said, so it is him. No wonder you got discovered. There is no need to bother about him for now. I already obtained the item I want. Once the auction ends, we can leave. Soon, the auction entered its final round. The auctioneer took out the first item of this round and said, up next is a peak lightning attributed earth ranked martial technique, the Wukui Saber technique. To lure note, I am honestly not sure what a Wukui tree Wukui shu, is. When I searched the net, the closest thing I found is a fan palm. Even so, I am not sure about it. In any case, palm saber technique is a terrible name, so I will leave this technique partially in Chinese phonetics. It will sound somewhat nice and keep the meaning ambiguous as I can't confirm what it is. According to legends, the Wukui tree is a divine tree that was born in lightning. A strong being in the ancient era comprehended the Wukui saber technique while he was under a Wukui tree. Of course, the manual in my hand is not the original book from the ancient era. This is an incomplete manual based on the Wukui saber technique. Although it does not contain the might that is described in the legends, it is still at the apex of earth-ranked saber techniques. To every bladesman, it is a martial technique of their dreams. Like before, the starting price is 10,000 inferior grade spirit stones. Xiao Chen's eyes lit up, the item he had been waiting for had finally arrived. He did not hesitate to make the first bid, 50,000. The person in booth 18 has made his move again. It seems like this saber technique has caught his attention. Fortunately, I don't need it. Haha, ha, I don't need it as well. Otherwise, there is no way I can compete. Damn it. I was searching for a lightning attributed saber technique. There is no more hope for me. I can't be bothered to compete for this. I definitely can't outbid this person. It would simply be a waste of effort. The hall was very noisy but no one called out a bid. Xiao Chen did not expect such a result from his actions. Everyone in the auction hall felt anxious. This was a peak earth ranked martial technique. It could normally be sold for 200,000 spirit stones. Yet, after a bid of 50,000, no one else bid. The auctioneer called out a few times, but like before, no one bid. This is a big loss, the auctioneer cursed at Xiao Chen in his heart. In the end, he could only helplessly say, 
50,000 inferior grade spirit stones. This martial technique manual belongs to booth 18. Xiao Chen revealed a faint smile on his face, it looks like sometimes, having a lot of money can scare other people. Well, this is good for me. Xiao Chen had finally obtained the thing he had been searching for. Xiao Chen's main motive for coming to the auction was achieved. However, Xiao Chen could only watch on as the other eight secret treasures were taken by other people. Two hours later, the auction ended. Linlang Pavilion sent someone to bring all the things Xiao Chen had won to his booth. Linlang Pavilion had specialized appraisers, so Xiao Chen's demonic cores were sold successfully. After that, Xiao Chen paid up for the things he won in the auction. One bottle of essence gathering pills, two secret treasures, and one lightning attributed martial technique. That was a total of 1,050,000 inferior grade spirit stones. Xiao Chen still had more than 4,000 medial grade spirit stones with him, he had not exceeded the budget he set. After Xiao Chen placed everything in his universe ring, he pushed the door of the booth open. He immediately felt a strong killing intent after he did that. He simply smiled faintly and ignored it before stepping out of the door. Mu Chengshe was holding onto the holy weapon, Moonlight Beauty. When he saw Xiao Chen, a faint smile appeared on his face. He said, so, it is him. An old and plain copper mirror was spinning rapidly in Mu Chengshui's right eye, he was able to see through Xiao Chen's disguise. Not long after Xiao Chen left Linlang Pavilion, he was immediately blocked by Mu Chengshe and his group on the streets. There was a somewhat grim smile on Mu Chengshui's handsome face, making his exquisite face seem more charming. When Mu Chengshui saw Xiao Chen, he said, I seem to recall we met outside Yunyang City. Xiao Chen's memory had always been good, he was quite familiar with this person. He nodded and said, we have indeed met. However, I'm pretty sure you did not block my way today to tell me that. Mu Chengshe did not beat around the bush. He spoke straightforwardly, give me 10 essence gathering pills, I'll give you 100,000 inferior grade spirit stones. Xiao Chen had spent 500,000 inferior grade spirit stones for this bottle of essence gathering pills. However, there were only 20 pills inside. If 10 pills were to be purchased at the same rate, it would require 250,000 inferior grade spirit stones. Yet, Mu Chengshe was only willing to offer 100,000 spirit stones. This was no different from daylight robbery. Xiao Chen shook his head and said, Sorry, this is not for sale. Please move aside, I still have matters to deal with. Who? Mu Chengshui's hand moved quickly and casually landed on Xiao Chen's shoulder. He whispered, did I say you can leave? How dare you snatch the item that I, Mu Chengshui, wants? I'll ask you again, selling or not? Mu Chengshui's voice was very soft but there were no emotions in it. It was incredibly cold and contained a boundless killing intent. A cold gleam flashed in Xiao Chen's eyes as he replied coldly, please let go, I am not on familiar terms with you. Ka Ca. After Xiao Chen spoke, his right hand was quickly placed on his saber hilt and he immediately executed the rushing thunder saber techniques drawing the saber. Mu Chengshui's reaction was not slower than Xiao Chen. In fact, it was slightly faster. By the time Xiao Chen's right hand had touched the saber hilt, his sword was already drawn. Bang! Two dazzling lights flashed in the air. The saber and sword clashed in midair and gave off a loud clang. A strong wind blew in the big street. Xiao Chen's saber was drawn later but it arrived first. Although he was slightly slower than his opponent, due to drawing the saber, his speed managed to catch up. They both took five steps back. A huge force was transmitted via the saber and entered his arm. This caused Xiao Chen's right arm to feel numb. He could not help but feel more cautious. Suddenly, dark clouds gathered in the clear sky above. Occasionally, 
there were crackles of thunder coming from the churning clouds above. Niu Chengshe looked at the dark clouds above and said indifferently, small perfection state of thunder. No wonder you dare to make a move against me. Unfortunately, it is just the small perfection. Hu Kai. Suddenly, a strong wind blew behind Miu Chengshe. Occasionally, there would be lightning tearing through the air in the wind. The other night spirit palace disciples quickly moved aside. This is first senior brother's state of wind thunder. This fellow is dead for sure, one of the night spirit palace disciples who was beaten up by Xiao Chen in the past said excitedly. Miu Yangzu stood to the side quietly. She did not say anything or express her opinions. To her, this was a good opportunity to assess Miu Chengshui's true capabilities. Clouds churned in the sky, the wind howled, and thunder roared. There was a lot of activity going on. The sight of all this attracted the attention of everyone on the street. Xiao Chen's gaze was calm like still water. Miu Chengshui was able to merge two states together so perfectly into the state of wind thunder. He truly lived up to his title as Night Spirit Palace's top expert. Hu Kai. Miu Chengshui pushed his feet off the ground and a strong wind blew as his body flew. A boundless killing intent was hidden in the sword that seemed as gentle as moonlight. The sword pierced viciously at Xiao Chen. A cold light glinted on the sword, then it suddenly sent out a horrifying lightning amidst the strong wind. Before the sword arrived, the lightning had already arrived before Xiao Chen. Xiao Chen executed the Azure Dragon Cloud Soaring Art and his figure flashed. He left behind a purple arc as he moved and dodged before the lightning struck him. Boom! A large hole was blasted out at the spot that Xiao Chen once stood. Countless amounts of dirt were kicked up into the air, before immediately being scattered by the strong wind. In the instant the strong wind scattered, Xiao Chen appeared behind Miu Chengshe from nowhere and a thunder crackled in the sky above. Xiao Chen carried the might of rushing thunder as his lunar shadow saber hacked down on Miu Chengshe. Miu Chengshe moved his wrist and his sword immediately blocked Xiao Chen's attack. Bang! 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 The two of them made their moves quickly in the air. When the saber and the sword met, thunder and lightning appeared unceasingly. It shook everybody's eardrums, causing them some mild pain. Wave after wave of shockwaves came from the two of them. As a result of the shockwaves, some buildings on the street were shattered into dust. The cloud of dust blown up by the strong wind became thicker, and the surrounding people could no longer see the situation within. They could only hear the endless shouts within. They guessed that the fight inside was very intense. A light flashed in Xiao Chen's eyes. He saw an opportunity and immediately executed the Roaming Dragon's nine transformations and cloud-breaking refreshing breeze chop. Within the strong wind and lightning, Xiao Chen split into nine figures. Nine cool breezes came from the nine figures. In an instant, Xiao Chen's killing intent vanished from the intense battlefield, it was incredibly strange. Miu Chengshe smiled and said, Qingyin Peak's secret technique, clear wind chop. Only seeing the cool breeze and not the saber. It is just an insignificant trick. The holy weapon, Beauty Under the Moon, released a gorgeous light from Miu Chengshui's hand, emulating the gentle golden light of the moon. There seemed to be a girl humming softly in the moonlight. Space fluctuated in the girl's surroundings like ripples on the surface of water. Miu Chengshui's figure immediately became incredibly blurry. Xiao Chen was astonished, this was the Tao of a holy weapon. Miu Chengshui had used the holy weapon to change the rules of this space within a short moment. Su. The nine figures in the air merged back into one body. Then, Miu Chengshui pierced through it. Then, like a reflection, Miu Chengshui's figure appeared in front of him. There was a mocking smile on Miu Chengshui's face as he looked at Xiao Chen. Xiao Chen moved rapidly toward Miu Chengshe. However, there seemed to be an infinite distance between him and Miu Chengshe. Regardless of how Xiao Chen advanced, 
Yu Chengche always remained 10 meters in front of him. 10 meters was the distance of a single leap to Xiao Chen but it seemed impossible to complete. Although Xiao Chen was astonished, he was not in too much of a panic. He maintained his calm and immediately stopped. He used his spiritual sense to cover his body and slowly descended to the ground. However, Yu Chengshui's figure still remained 10 meters in front of him, descending together with him. Pu Si. Suddenly, a resplendent moonlight was fired into Xiao Chen's eyes. The girl's melodious humming resounded from beside Xiao Chen's ears. The moonlight obscured Xiao Chen's vision, the sound of the girl obscured his hearing. The space started fluctuating quickly. Xiao Chen's five senses had all vanished instantly. Xiao Chen closed his eyes and his left hand suddenly made a grab in the air, catching a sword piercing toward him. Yu Chengshui's face was clearly filled with incredible shock. He said, impossible, your five cents have all vanished. How did you know where my attack was coming from? Xiao Chen remained silent. The purple light of the lunar shadow saber flickered non-stop as he chopped down on Yu Chengshui. Yu Chengshui's sword was tightly clutched, he was not able to dodge the incoming saber. His body was struck by the saber and turned into a gentle moonlight with a bang, vanishing into the air. The strange space disappeared and the strong wind calmed. Yu Chengshui landed on the ground with a pale complexion. He received a significant rebound when the small realm he had created using the holy weapon was broken by Xiao Chen. Yu Chengshui received such an injury in front of so many people. There was now an incredibly sullen expression on his face. Die for me. Nine flashes of the sword. Yu Chengshui shouted angrily and the strong wind and the lightning appeared again. The holy weapon, Moonlight Beauty, appeared in his hands once again. Using the might of the strong wind, he quickly appeared before Xiao Chen. The sword was giving off a golden glow that changed continuously. Xiao Chen's surroundings became filled with sword images. This sword clearly only has one blade yet it attacked from nine different directions. It was unclear which was the real and which were the illusions, perhaps, they were all real. Xiao Chen shouted, Lonely Peak's fatal blow. A mountain rose up from the ground. In the past, the mountain descended from the sky but for the sake of dealing with the situation before him, Xiao Chen made it happen this way. Roaming Dragon's Nine Transformations The instant the Lonely Peak's fatal blow was executed, Xiao Chen quickly circulated his essence and executed the Roaming Dragon's Nine Transformations within a short amount of time. The illusion of Nine Mountains appeared. They all looked very real. It was impossible to distinguish from reality. Dang. 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 Nine metallic clangs sounded out at the same time. In the next moment, the mountains merged back together and so did Niu Chengshui's figure. Xiao Chen and Niu Chengshui both shouted and their auras flared up as they exchanged another blow. Two bolts of lightning flashed in the sky at the same time, making the dark sky as bright as a sunny day. A moment after this, there were two loud crackles of thunder. They both took nine steps back at the same time. Ka Ca. Yu Chengshui sheathed his sword. The splendor of the moonlight beauty vanished as he said indifferently, leave. Like before, Xiao Chen had an incredibly calm expression, there were no ripples at all as he sheathed the lunar shadow saber. Then, he slowly walked forward. The two of them had roughly equal strength. Without revealing their true abilities, there would not be a victor even after a hundred moves. Obviously, the two of them would not use their full strengths in complete view of everyone present. This would only reveal their trump cards to others. Who exactly is this person? He actually managed to pull a draw with Mu Chengshe. Since when did such a young expert appear in the Heavenly Saber Pavilion? I recall that he had injured the second son of the Shi clan head three days ago. Even the Shi clan's fourth elder could not do anything to him. So, it is him. This person is very courageous. 
It is not good to mess around with Mu Chengshe and the Shi clan. He used the Qingyan Peak secret technique. It must be Qingyan Peak, he must be a Qingyan Peak disciple. However, I've heard that Qingyan Peak has been on the decline for many years already. However, this person is really low-key. He did not even leave his name. After he managed to force a draw with Mu Chengshe, his name will at the very least be known throughout the Zaihe province. When the cultivators in the surroundings saw that Xiao Chen was not at a disadvantage when fighting with Mu Chengshe, they were incomparably astonished. A Night Spirit Palace disciple walked over to Mu Chengshe and asked in confusion, First senior brother, why did you let him go? A copper mirror was giving off a faint radiance in the boundless space within Mu Chengshui's right eye. It was as though he could see through everything fake in the entire world. Xiao Chen's true appearance showed up in the copper mirror. Mu Chengshui committed this image to heart as killing intent was revealed in his eyes. He said indifferently, the higher he flies, the heavier he will fall. I shall let him fly for a little longer. Back at the Yun residence in Zaihe City, Xiao Chen immediately went to look for Lu Sufeng after he concluded the fight with Mu Chengshe. Xiao Chen said, Sufeng, you should head back alone first. You can travel through the Devil Savanna with the Yun clan merchants. There should not be any danger. Lu Sufeng felt it was strange, so he asked, why? Do you still have some other matters to deal with? Xiao Chen looked up at the boundless sky. When he fought with Mu Chengshe, he felt that indistinct killing intent again. This proved that there was a mysterious cultivator who had followed them since the Devil Savanna, a cultivator who was extremely patient. Xiao Chen withdrew his gaze and nodded, that person's target is me. You should be safe alone. I have decided to stay at the Yun clan a little longer. Lu Sufeng remembered something and said, then you should be careful. Don't risk your life unnecessarily. Xiao Chen laughed and said, I am not afraid of this person, I just want to cultivate for a period of time before capturing them. I want to know who is the person behind them. Lu Sufeng did not say anything else to Xiao Chen. He communicated directly with the Yun clan and left with their merchants in the afternoon. Xiao Chen asked the Yun clan for a quiet courtyard. Yu Yuji was happy when he heard this, this was exactly what he had hoped for. Along the way, he heard that Xiao Chen had managed to force a draw with Mu Chengshe in a fight. This made Yun Yuji value Xiao Chen's potential even more. Late in the night, the full moon hung high in the sky. Xiao Chen sat cross-legged on the bed in his room. He took out two essence gathering pills and held them in his hands. When a martial monarch or below used the essence gathering pill, they would have at the least an additional 20% chance of succeeding when making their breakthrough. Xiao Chen was currently an inferior grade martial saint. One essence gathering pill could increase his odds of success by 40%. Two pills meant 80%. In addition to his own experiences, there should be no problems breaking through to medial grade martial saint. Xiao Chen popped the two essence gathering pills into his mouth. The pills dissolved and turned into a refreshing liquid. Then, it flowed down his throat and entered his blood vessels, mingling with his blood. Xiao Chen slowly circulated the purple thunder divine incantation to increase the rate of absorption. When the Purple Thunder Divine Incantation completed a small cycle, the medicinal energy of the pills was completely absorbed. Bang! Xiao Chen felt a strong energy come out from the Qi Whirlpool in his Dantian. The translucent crystalline purple Qi Whirlpool started to spin frantically. Is this the energy of the essence gathering pill? Xiao Chen thought to himself, how horrifying, it is close to the amount of energy I can absorb in one month. Although such great energy was incredibly berserk, it was still quite stable. It continuously tested Xiao Chen's limits. This way, it could guarantee Xiao Chen a safe advancement with the best odds. It was just like a bottle containing water. 
Xiao Chen's body was the bottle and the essence was the water inside. When Xiao Chen made a breakthrough, it was to increase the volume and quality of the water to expand the bottle. This was a dangerous process. However, the essence gathering pill added a formless and gentle barrier to Xiao Chen's energy. This guaranteed that it would not be forcibly broken by Xiao Chen. With the protection of the essence gathering pill, Xiao Chen circulated the purple thunder divine incantation without any care. A pure lightning attributed spiritual energy poured into Xiao Chen's body like water. The room was filled with a purple light. Xiao Chen's heart was as calm as still water, like an unchanging ancient well. One great cycle, two great cycles, in the end, the purple thunder divine incantation circulated for 72 great cycles. Bang! A cracking sound came from Xiao Chen's body. The bottle had shattered and after a while, it reformed into a new bottle. The quantity and quality of the essence in the bottle were increased by 20%. Xiao Chen opened his eyes and two beams of purple light shot out from his eyes. When he saw the remnant purple energy in the room, he said excitedly, I succeeded. It was worth spending so many spirit stones to purchase these essence gathering pills. It is truly effective. Hu Kai. Xiao Chen waved his hand and all the remnant lightning attributed energy gathered and formed a purple whirlpool. Then, it flew into Xiao Chen's right hand. Xiao Chen's right hand immediately turned translucent and crystalline, gaining a gloss like that of glass. With a thought from Xiao Chen, the energy turned into a purple flame above his forefinger, spinning continuously. Su. Xiao Chen flicked out the purple flame onto the wooden table. The wooden table immediately turned into a pile of ash soundlessly. Xiao Chen got up and muttered, now that I am a medial grade martial saint, a casual use of my purple thunder true fire has to be taken seriously by a regular inferior grade martial saint. This can be considered one of my trump cards. I should go out first and test out the secret treasures that I bought at the auction. When my essence is completely stable, I will use the medial grade spirit stones. When Xiao Chen pushed the door open, the sunlight shined into the room. He squinted and whispered, it is noon already. I completely lost all sense of time while cultivating. Xiao Chen shook his head and went out to wash up. Then, he went to the courtyard in great spirits and took out the windwalk shoes from the universe ring. The instant he wore them, Xiao Chen could immediately feel a strange energy flowing from the meridians in his feet and connecting with his mind quickly. Xiao Chen would be able to activate the secret treasure with just a thought. As he looked at the windwalk shoes on his feet, Xiao Chen smiled and said, I did not expect a complete secret treasure to be so convenient to use. The formations in them are definitely not damaged at all. I should not think about this for now. Let's test the speed of the windwalk shoes first. How fast can it be? Xiao Chen's gaze swept through the entire courtyard. The essence in his body circulated quickly through the pathways needed for the azure dragon cloud soaring art. In the next instant, his body turned into a purple streak of light, dashing around the courtyard quickly. Pu Si. Pu Si. Xiao Chen raised his speed to the limits of his body. At this time, he was already very close to the speed of sound. The friction between his body and the air gave off intense sonic booms. The air was like water. Under the influence of the sonic booms, it rippled continuously and created horrifying shockwaves. A strong wind blew in the courtyard immediately and sand flew everywhere. Small trees were pushed into a tilted position, like they would be pulled out at any moment. Xiao Chen thought to himself, the Azure Dragon Cloud Soaring Art is the Azure Dragon's exclusive movement technique. It's at the very least medial grade heaven ranked. I have reached the small perfection a long time ago. Unfortunately, I was unable to break through the bottleneck. My speed has been stuck at this stage, unable to reach the speed of sound. Let's see if the Windwalk Shoes is able to help me make a breakthrough. 
With a thought from Xiao Chen, the formations in the windwalk shoes started to work. In the next moment, Xiao Chen felt his body became lighter. The piercing sonic booms vanished, the strong wind stopped, and everything became calm. Everywhere Xiao Chen moved, he left behind afterimages. The afterimages only slowly faded away after a long time. I really achieved the speed of sound. Xiao Chen stopped and revealed a joyous smile. After he achieved the speed of sound, his body started to become one with the air. The generated friction would naturally be lost in the wind without creating any loud sonic booms. Xiao Chen withdrew his smile and said, a regular cultivator can only reach the speed of sound after advancing to Martial King. These windwalk shoes allow me to achieve the speed of sound while I'm a medial grade martial saint. This 200,000 inferior grade spirit stones is worth it. If Morong Chong's state of wind does not advance, then I am already faster than him. I would no longer be at a disadvantage as a result of his speed. Without wasting any more time, Xiao Chen continued to test how long his essence could last if he operated the windwalk shoes at its maximum. After two hours, Xiao Chen noted that he still had half his essence left. He said, it looks like there should be no problems maintaining this for four hours. However, I would be exhausting my essence on other things as well during a fight. I can probably maintain this for only three hours realistically. However, that is not bad either. Xiao Chen took out two inferior grade spirit stones and held one in each hand. Then he sat cross-legged on the ground and slowly started to recover his essence. After an hour, the glow on the spirit stone completely disappeared. Xiao Chen's essence was completely filled up again before he slowly stood up. When Xiao Chen looked toward the gate, he was surprised to find Yun Kashin. It was unknown when she had arrived. He quickly went over to welcome her, Senior Sister Yun, why are you looking for me? A strange light flashed in Yun Kexin's calm gaze. She said, Yi Chen, you broke through again. Xiao Chen nodded and smiled, N, this is all thanks to the aid of the essence gathering pills. It probably saved me about two months of time. Even without the essence gathering pill, with Xiao Chen's talent and the cultivation speed of the Purple Thunder Divine Incantation, he would not remain a peak inferior grade martial saint for long. However, it was a great help to Xiao Chen to be able to save two months of time. The thing Xiao Chen lacked the most now was time. Yun Kexin's expression became calm again. A trace of a smile appeared on her delicate face. She said, congratulations. I was just coming to see you since I was nearby. Since you are cultivating, I shall not disturb you any further. I'll take my leave first. Wait for a while. Xiao Chen called out to stop Yun Kashin. Yun Kashin turned around and asked, is something the matter? Xiao Chen nodded, N, I would like you to help me test the defensive power of my secret treasure. Use your strongest attack on me. The jade pendant was different from the windwalk shoes. It was a defensive secret treasure. Xiao Chen was sure he could not test it out by himself. He had to find someone to help him. Yun Kashin teased, so you want me to labor for you. I originally thought you had something important to say. I won't labor for free you know. Xiao Chen could not help but laugh. He discovered that after he got familiar with Yun Kashin, she was not as indifferent as she presented herself to be. She also had a cute and mischievous side. However, such a Yun Kashin was more genuine. Xiao Chen found it easier to interact with her like this. He said, how about one essence gathering pill? Yun Kashin laughed, her face was as refreshing as a flower. She said, I was just joking. Just prepare yourself, okay? I heard it can withstand a full-powered strike from a peak medial grade martial king, so I have to put in everything I have. Xiao Chen took out the jade pendant and placed it on this chest. He immediately felt refreshed, like the windwalk shoes, the formations within instantly connected to Xiao Chen's mind. 
It was extremely convenient to operate. After Xiao Chen adjusted to it, a cautious expression appeared on his face as he said, Come. I am ready. Yun Kashin had a calm expression as she entered a tranquil state. She slowly drew the heaven-ranked spirit weapon, roaming dragon saber. The resplendent saber gave off a light under the sun's rays. Yun Kexin's aura quickly rose and her peaceful gaze became as sharp as a saber. The saber in her hand started to tremble. The sound of the saber trembling grew from soft to loud. It continuously reverberated in the surroundings. Ripples spread out in the air, creating strong winds. Boom. The never-ending noises suddenly merged together and made one loud sound, rushing to the nine heavens. It scattered a large patch of clouds in the sky. Without the clouds blocking it, the sun shined down brightly, it was so dazzling that it hurt the eyes. Yun Kexin's aura had finally risen to its peak and turned into a sharp saber. She fired it at Xiao Chen and her figure flashed through the air as she launched herself at Xiao Chen together with the aura. Yun Kashin had not shown any mercy. As Xiao Chen watched Yun Kashin throw out her strongest strike, a transparent shield surrounded him with a thought. Bang! The heaven-ranked spirit weapon struck the defensive shield and gave off a loud sound. The light shield rippled like water. Xiao Chen, who was behind the shield, felt a strong force. He took two steps back but did not suffer any injuries. Instead, Yun Kashin was struck by the rebound of the shield and was knocked back several steps. Her complexion was incredibly pale, like she had been completely drained of blood. Xiao Chen quickly retracted the light shield and went over. He asked somewhat worriedly, are you fine? It was just a test, you did not have to put in that much effort. Yun Kashin did not reply to Xiao Chen immediately. She stabilized her chaotic essence her surging qi and blood. After a while, Yun Kexin's complexion started to slowly recover. Then, she revealed a smile on her face as she said, I'm fine. Since it was a test, I had to do my best. That way, you would have an idea of its strength. In the future, when you fight with people, you won't have to feel worried. Yun Kashin paused for a while before continuing, I used the heavenly melody saber technique and it was coupled with a heaven-ranked spirit weapon. A full power strike from me is equivalent to an inferior grade martial kings. The light shield did not show any signs of breaking when I struck it. It should be able to withstand the full-powered strike of a medial-grade martial king. A heaven-ranked spirit weapon could raise Yun Kexin's offensive power by 50%. Furthermore, it could raise the power of a saber technique as well. Yun Kexin's offensive power was as she said, equivalent to an inferior-grade martial king's. Xiao Chen took out an essence gathering pill and tossed it to Yun Kashin. Many thanks. Yun Kashin stretched her hand out to receive the essence gathering pill. She smiled and said, I just found out today that my full powered strike is so valuable. It can be used to exchange for an essence gathering pill worth 30,000 inferior grade spirit stones. It looks like I should come down here more often when I have time. I will become rich within a few days. Xiao Chen sweated in his heart as he smiled gently, in that case, I will become a pauper. The two of them laughed as they exchanged a glance. They chatted for a while and stopped only because someone from the Yun clan called for Yun Kashin. After Yun Kashin left, Xiao Chen continued to try to use the jade pendant on his chest. However, he was unable to make the connection. It was as Linlang Pavilion had said, it could only be used once a day. After resting for a while, Xiao Chen took out some dry rations from the universe ring. After he ate, he took out the high-ranked lightning attribute martial technique, Wukui Saber technique, from his universe ring. The Wukui Saber technique has a total of nine moves. It was a typical lightning attributed martial technique. It was originally an incomplete heaven-ranked martial technique from the ancient era. Later, 
Someone filled in the incomplete parts and its might became weaker than before. Actually, many martial techniques in the Tianwu continent were derived from ancient martial techniques. Only a small portion was created after the ancient era. Fixing an ancient martial technique and adding in their own insights was also another way of obtaining a martial technique. However, this method was rarer than the earlier two. The reason was obvious. The martial technique that was fixed would definitely be an incomplete martial technique. To fix a martial technique was harder than deriving a martial technique or creating one. Furthermore, to merge in one's insight and harmonize it was even more difficult. These two reasons combined made this type of martial technique extremely rare. Xiao Chen carefully read through the Wukui Saber technique under the blazing sun. After the first look, he was deeply engrossed in it. He continued reading until dusk, at this time, he had read most of the book. Xiao Chen closed the manual, he was feeling very moved as he muttered, the person who fixed this was truly a genius. Not only had they comprehended the thoughts of the ancient people, they even corrected some errors. That person took their comprehensions and the wisdom of the ancient people and merged them together. If this person did not just receive an incomplete copy, the might of this Wukui Saber technique would be similar to the original. When Xiao Chen closed the book, he accidentally noticed a small line of blurry words on the last page. The row of words was written using the ancient text, that was the same as the traditional Chinese characters of Earth. Because the words were blurred and it was the traditional Chinese characters of Earth, most people would not notice it. Xiao Chen read them out softly, the original work was not clear. Sang Mu fixed this in the 689th year of the Great Qin. If there are insufficiencies, would the later generation please point them out? Thunder Emperor Sang Mu. After Xiao Chen read that line, he was completely stunned. The person who fixed this martial technique was the Thunder Emperor Sang Mu. If he recalled correctly, in the 689th year of the Great Qin, the Thunder Emperor was only 20. He already had such a terrifying talent at 20, accomplishing something others have not managed to do even with a hundred years. What kind of peerless talent was the Thunder Emperor of a thousand years ago? Xiao Chen's thoughts moved very fast. He thought of his fate with this person. Back in the past, when the Thunder Emperor taught him the Battle Sage Origins changing character formula, he only said one sentence, one move to break 10,000 moves, one chi to shake the world. Unfortunately, Xiao Chen's talent was poor, even till this date, he still did not understand this completely. As for using the Battle Sage Origin to imitate martial techniques, there was too much that he still had to improve on. When Xiao Chen thought of the Thunder Emperor, he remembered that promise again. Not to let her cry. His gaze fell onto the Lunar Shadow Saber and he gravely nodded. Collecting his thoughts, Xiao Chen placed the Wukui Saber Technique Manual back in his universe ring. Then, he started preparing to practice the Wukui Saber Technique. The Wukui Saber Technique had a total of 9 moves. The first three moves were the basics, they were the foundations of the Wukui Saber technique. In order to practice the last six moves, one must completely comprehend the foundational moves first. The fourth to sixth moves were killing moves. After executing them, it would cause the opponent to be pushed into desperate straits. The seventh to ninth moves were sure kill moves. As it implied, the moment the sure kill moves were used, the opponent would definitely die. Of course, while that was how it was described, the so-called, sure kill, did not really mean that the opponent would definitely die, it was just a concept. Xiao Chen placed his right hand on the saber hilt and closed his eyes. His mind was calm as he entered into a state of silent comprehension. It was unknown how much time had passed but the sky was already completely dark. There was no moonlight on this particular night. The courtyard was shrouded in darkness. When one extended their hand, they would not be able to see their fingers. 
The small courtyard was completely silent.